Anyhow, I have all of these piggies that I have mixed up with that recipe with the bare um, deep base and then the 50-50 uh, GAC 800 and Liquitex gloss medium. And so I've mixed them all up. This is pretty thick. What I wanna do is do three different ones. I wanna do a straight pour with the thick and then I have put all of these colors over here and I'm going to gradually thin them. I'm going to do a Dutch pour and then I'm going to do a, a, a pearl pour. So <laughs> should be interesting, right? So this is um, a six by six tile for it to be a true experiment. I just wanted to use the TLPs to see how that they, they would they would do. So let me put some gold in. Then I'm gonna put some blue eyes in. These are really thick. Then I'm going to put sapphire. Then enchantment. Then Constellation. Yeah, I think that should be enough for this tile. Then Parakeet. That might not even make it onto the tile, it'll probably fall off. And the last one, Lagoon. And it's a tile, so. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how this works out. So I'm going to do. Straight pour, straight pour, ring pour. Here we go. This is all TLPs. Where's my gold? I guess I didn't put that much in. Right at the bottom. Very thick stuff, my friends. I want to see how this works. Wow, it's really pretty. And to see the shine. Now it's very cold out to this evening, so I don't even know if this is going to dry well because it's so cold. So we'll just have to see. And I am just going to give it a little torch. I mixed them quite a while ago, so um, so that created a true paint from the pigments. All right, let's just move it around, see what happens. More experiments. <laughs> Can't get enough of them. going to thin these down and I'm going to do a Dutch pour first because that would be the next next thinnest paint and then the pearl pour would be the thinnest. No, absolutely no other colors in here. I was thinking about putting the white in for contrast but um, I wanted to try this just for giggles. I know Mina's working on a thick um, recipe and I'm trying mostly to work on the thin recipe to see how the thin how the paints will work on a thin so that's it for now
I'll zoom in on it later. I'll put that aside. Let me do the Dutch pour in here. Oh, I don't have anything to put it. This is a, a reused canvas, or I'm going to be reusing it. I think I had some TLPs on this one too at one point. I've been at this for a while. <laughs> you can see the TLPs in here. Um, they do shine quite nicely. I can't remember which um, which uh, recipe I used for that, but I think there's other colors in there as well. All right, fingers are freezing. Here we go. Better. I love this. How did something burn that? Holy shit. It's a good thing it's just a test canvas. All right. So I am going to stir these up again. Make sure that they're very thin. They, they go right in. This will be interesting because this is this is the test. <laughs> Pearl pores, I don't know, especially with no other colors, you know, no other tube paints. We'll see. Yeah, I really, I'm not good at Dutch pores. <laughs> I need to practice more. I need to go and see Molly. Get a lesson. Now. Shelly has perfected the Shelly Art recipe and technique, and there is nothing that will beat that. Absolutely nothing, not, no. So I'm not even gonna try. I wanna see how far I can get. Oh, I don't think I have enough. Let's see if it will make it around. 
big a canvas. I should have done it the other way around. Ah, it's getting close. All right, it's getting close and it's actually gonna be okay because we have to have a very thin coat on here. Big bubble. Still that spot. So I'm just gonna keep moving the paint down it has to be a very thin coat. So this will be interesting. I don't think I'm gonna put that many colors down. It's pretty. Oh, it might work. I see a halo. putting all the colors in. Oh, that one's still thick. Ah. All right, here we go. It looks like it's working. Oh my God. Oh, oh, torch. That big piece I did, the, the piggies came just they're beautiful. They came out beautiful. So this is all TLPs. No other paints. And some paints may work, some colors may work, some may not. See how it's going down like that? It's let's see if we get any pearls or not. We might not. And that wouldn't, you know, it's an experiment. Ooh, there's some wild stuff going on down here. But it doesn't look like pearls. But it does take a while, too. <laughs> Shut up, Michelle. <laughs> Good Lord. There might not be enough, uh, I don't know. I need to give it a moment or two or five. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute or five or 10 and see if anything pops up. And if it doesn't, oh well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you on time lapse and just leave this, I'm not gonna touch it. Gotta be super thin. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get any. It's an interesting reaction, so, oh, wait a minute. Oh no, it's because I'm tilting more off. Holy cow, some is coming up. Should have put some darker colors down. Yeah, that um, sapphire is not fit well. It is getting pearls. I'll be back in a in an hour or so. Straight pour. 
too blingy. Let's see how it dries. It looks like pretty good. I mean, this looks really good. I'm amazed. Now, the um, this is still developing. There's some interesting effects happening, like right here. It's kind of cool, but kind of weird. And I dipped paint there, like in there, like they're, they're squiggly lines. They're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of cool, but they're like different. Different is good. But I am getting, um, like even the light blue, the uh, blue eyes is getting some really fat cells or pearls. And the enchantment's getting some weird looking ones. I love the gold, it's always been my favorite. So that's the blue eyes. And that's not enchantment, that's constellation, I think, but when it's mixed with the white, it does that. And of course, all blues, oh look at that gold, geez. So you can always use ore in these. Blues always pearl up, always. I don't know what it is. That edge right there is parakeet. <laughs> it's kind of cool. And I just did a couple of little things just to see how it would react. So there's that. Now coming over to the Dutch pour. I think this is because it's an old canvas that it's doing this because it's only doing it on the edges so far. And um, yeah, my Dutch pour skills really leave a lot to be desired but there is some lacing we'll have to see how these dry in the morning i just don't know one of the things i really like about this is how ethereal that looks right there and uh it looks really cool so we'll see how it dries in the morning and i will um i'll be back I'm not gonna post this until I see them dry. So, all right guys, this is the next day. This pearled up really nice and this is all TLPs. Um, I'm sure it would shine even more under the, um, you know, if I had just the flash on, but I wanna show you what else, the other ones. Look at that, this little pink inside. It's so cute. Anyhow, this is the tile I did with the Look at that. Whew. Now, this, I do, I, I'm thinking my pigments weren't mixed well enough. And that's what happens when your pigments are not mixed well enough. So it's a test tile, you know. Um, and if I put white in between, I think I would have gotten a better effect. But I wanted to try it with all pigments. Now, this is a hot freaking mess. I used as the base Artist Loft Flow White low trawl and water and I don't know if it was because it's an old canvas or because it was um, cold out last night but um, yeah this is just god awful so oh, I don't know if this canvas is going to see another day but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fresh new canvas for the Dutch pour and I'm using Amsterdam white with water only. So I'll be back. Guys, I'm back. So I have this tiny little, <laughs> usually tiny little canvases aren't good for Dutch pours, but I don't want to waste all my piggies. So um, I've got this uh, Amsterdam titanium white mixed up with water. Hoping it is thin enough. It looks kind of thick. Shoot. Well, I've got half of it there. So maybe if I good at these. Artist Loft Flow White does not work well with Dutch pores and we all know that because Canel has told us many times. So I'm going to start, I've got lots of really cool piggies. Um, I think I'll start with the purple. Oh, Wilbur. Oh, oh. Um, 
This is Dioxazine Purple from uh, Aquatex Basics. And then I got to put a piggy down. We'll put this is a combination of enchantment and um, pinwheel. Then we're going to put this is hustle by TLP. That's blue eyes. I don't know that I'm going to put. I'm not. I don't think so. I was going to put the sapphire in, but I don't think I'm going to. And then I'll put just a little bit of white on top. And put some around. Pour. And blow it out. We'll see. Wish me luck. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of cells happening. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, I am going to blow right here. Just to soften that up. And I might blow right here too. All right, so we know I'm not the best at <laughs> Dutch pours, but this really is pretty. It's small, you know? Oh, don't forget to enter the um, contest. The drawing is on the, tw um, the second. So it's 222, two, two, February 2nd, two, 2022. And I have two paintings that I did that I really like, actually. They're, um. They almost look like a diptych, but they're not. It was the end. It was a, a experiment between the artist loft, um, what was it, the 2021 and the 2019. pretty. All right. Well, we'll see how it dries. Um, I'm going to take you down for a flat over. The other two dried okay. Um, this is, yeah, pretty bright and special. I'm going to give it a few minutes to develop before I bring you down. I'll be back. Hey guys. So here we go. This is on white. It's beautiful. I love all the shimmer to it. The only color I have in there that is not a TLP is the dioxazine purple. Everything else is TLP. Now, you know, I don't do the best touch pours. Still working on it, you know? I mean, that's so pretty though. Look at all those different colored cells. Yeah, I'm loving this. I put my finger in there because I didn't like, wanted to break up some of this. It's, um, composition is so-so. Mm, but, uh, yeah, the paints seem to be working. We'll see how they look in the morning. And this is with that recipe with the GAC 100 to wet the pigments. And then a mixture of 50-50 liquid test Liquitex gloss medium. Look, I didn't even put green in there. 
Liquitex Gloss Medium and um, GEC 800 to make a paint. And then you just um, thin it out for the Dutch pour. And I did go ahead and do drip tests for this. So I'll likely do, well, actually I just did one for the black. I'm just waiting for the black to settle down. I'll be back. Whoops, there we go. All right, so this is the white one with all the bling bling from the piggies. Very pretty. Oh, yes. All right, I'm trying to go slow. This is the black. Look at that right there. Ooh. So that, um, turquoise color is oh look at the blue eyes showing through that turquoise color is um Amsterdam greenish blue mixed with glisten I like how this all flew out <laughs> there's uh the enchantment mixed with the periwinkle periwinkle why do I keep saying periwinkle it's pinwheel duh very pretty very delicate And the base is Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed with water. So that's those two. And these are wet. And this is dry. And you can see, I don't think, well, yeah, you can see the um, sapphire. I don't have any. Um, varnish or anything on this. Yeah, it's sparkling. Look at that. And that's a cloud pour. Nice. Yeah, I'm happy with this recipe. So, cloud pour, Dutch pour. It's so pretty. and straight pour. Oops, got something on it. <laughs> yeah, that one is holy hell full of something. Maybe I didn't clean the tile off well, I don't know. I was just getting so excited. So, you'll have to let me know what you think, you guys. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now.